Hello, I'm Ben from Cambridge Audio and I'm here at Crutchfield to talk to you about the ID100 digital iPod dock, which is this unit that we have at the top here. It's the world's first digital iPod dock that's also made for iPad, as you can see. And what it does is it makes your Apple device worthy of being plugged into your hi-fi system once more. Apple devices are fantastic, as we know, but the DACs inside them are used or designed for portable use. Um, which is fine for on the go, but it means that when you connect them to your hi-fi system at home, the sound quality isn't perhaps quite as good as it could be. So, the ID100 connects directly to your Apple device, but bypasses the DACs inside that device. So it accesses the raw digital information held on your iPad or your iPhone or your iTouch and sends that output digitally, which you can then send into a DAC of your choice. As you can see, it's designed uh, size-wise to match perfectly with our DAC Magic 100, uh, but you could e equally connect it to any other um, DAC or device with a digital input, such as AV receivers or many of the other DACs that are available on the market. Connections-wise, we have SPDIF and TOSLINK digital outputs, but we also have balanced digital AES-EBU output for connection to high-end or pro audio gear too. And of course, it will also fully charge my iPad and my iPhone too. We've got a USB connection on the back also, uh, which is specifically for software updates and also for syncing your Apple device with your iTunes library. And finally, and really important too, is a full acoustically damped metal casework because electronic components are very susceptible to vibration, so you won't see any flimsy plastic anywhere on our products here. If you have questions about any Cambridge Audio products, just give Crutchfield a